talk about why. So when you first start on, on a ketogenic diet, there is no reason you need to do a, a blood test at all. That when you first do this, if, you, if your body is making ketones, that isn't, I would say, normal for the American, standard American diet. With the number of carbohydrates that are typically found in our diet, it is difficult to produce ketones in a way that you would actually make them come out your urine. In fact, one of the things on our blood test, on our urine tests in the lab is, oh, is the patient, you know, what I what I used to think of it as when I was in medical school was like, is, are they in starvation by having ketones? And mm. I know that's not true, but that was what the first thing my brain would do is like, oh, they haven't been eating or they, they're in starvation mode. Mm. And that's not true. But urine ketones are cheap, easy, safe, portable. You don't need to poke your finger. Uh, and that is what most people should do until they have really adapted and gotten into a ketogenic, ketogenic life. What it measures is that there's enough ketones in your blood that uh, they're, having, they're spilling into your urine. And think of it as an overflow, overflow valve. Your, your body protects you against a major shift in chemistry. And the way it does that for ketones is it spills them into the urine. And when you pee on that little stick and it turns pink, it means, yep, there were ketones in that urine. Nice. Perfect plan. Nice. When you get to the part where you said, you know, doc, I've been eating keto for the better part of a decade or maybe a year or two or three, and I, I'm stuck. I can't seem to lose weight. I've got all the rules down. I've made all the life adjustments. I do keep my carbs low. What am I doing wrong? That's me. And that's, where, mm -hmm, and that's where you came in. So if you remember, uh, keeping in mind that when you check the urine ketone strips and when you check, you're not checking for actual fuel, you're checking for waste products. Like your body is not going to let these ketones overshoot. Uh, they can get a little bit high, but there's a, there's a release valve. And that means it's released through your breath and it's released through your urine. And once your body is adapted, uh, you don't, produce as much waste products, you really have those, uh, they, they kind of get into a lower zone. Uh, what we like to see is that you're making enough fuel to meet the needs of your body. And boy, that human body loves to, to have what we call homeostasis. Here's what, the, here's what she's asking for. And here's what we gave her, and it matches. So then the urine strips turn out to be not as accurate once you're keto adapted because in theory, and the theory actually turns out to be positive sometimes, that you made as many ketones as you needed and you really didn't waste very many into your urine, but you're still clearly in ketosis. So one of the first things I asked you to do was get a meter. You're going to have to check some numbers. Mm -hmm. so, so Jennifer, let me ask you a few questions. Uh, this helps not just uh, me, but it helps the audience. And I've saved some of this so, so the audience, I don't know the answers to all these questions. So um, when you first went keto, um, you said it was about 18 months ago. And how did that first journey go? How did the first uh, uh, step into ketosis, if you would, and that weight loss, what was your story? How did that look? So it was a huge, huge learning curve. But um, I started off with... Um, the urine strips to test because it was the most inexpensive way. And I know there's three ways. I know you can do breath. I know you can do blood and I know you can do urine, but honestly, when you start, I don't even know if I'm going to continue this. So a 10, $15 bottle of urine strips was the way to go. Right. Um, I was checking every time I went to the bathroom for three days. And I want to say if memory serves, it was possibly on day four that I had pink. On um, yeah. I was in a ketone, like, yeah. So that was that. And then those strips honestly helped me out for the next two or three months because I made mistakes. Like I made mistakes and they just helped me to see those mistakes and then to recover from those mistakes. And then all of a sudden they didn't work. And then I got frustrated and didn't track. So that's, that's basically right. the story. Yep. Human nature. That's very good. So no, that's great. So some things that uh, helped me there is four days to a ketone teaches me about um, what is the resistance within your liver. You know, the liver is where when the body has extra sugar and if you're living on a low fat, high carb diet, like most of us were before keto, the body is so good at taking that extra sugar and storing it in your liver. The question that we want to know when people first go keto is, well, how big was your liver? 
Uh, there's a whole chapter about this in the book, but what, what I'm doing is calculating to say, well, how bad was her insulin resistance? You know, the, the number of patients that show up and say, oh, doc, my sugars are fine. I'm not diabetic. I'm not pre-diabetic. And I look at them and say, you just don't know you are. Um, and I don't need to fight with them. I, what I need to do as their physician is to recognize where we're at, where the obstacles are going to come from. Yeah. So if you're, if you, on your initial ketogenic journey, um, I've had some patients take 10 days to make their first ketone. Oh. Now, <laughs> sometimes it was because they just didn't get the rules, but I think they had the liver, I mean, they're 450 pounds. They were, they had a liver the size of a small child. I mean, there was so much extra sugar in that liver that okay. we didn't get the, I know it's incredible. The lot, the loss of sh uh, elevated sugar uh, took that long before they got to feel the benefit, which are, wow. which is when the key ketones show up and that's where they begin to say, oh, I feel so much better. And I almost feel bad, uh, you know, warning patients about that because if they say, oh, I'm so heavy, this is never going to work for me. I'm like, no, you're the person who should be doing this. Um, and then, you know, not everybody's that way. Your genetics do have a lot to do with how insulin, you know, how well has your insulin uh, rescued you or protected you. Uh, yeah. So four days in, you have uh, the blessing of actually checking. That is the key to this diet. This, the difference between this diet and a, say, paleo diet <clears throat> is that you can check it. And that's so powerful for me as a physician to say, just prove to me that you're following the rules enough to, to pee a ketone. So you start peeing on the stick. You find that, yep, there are things that you like to eat. And when you screw up, you were out of ketosis for, um, for how long before the, the strip would turn pink in those first three months? But even all that history wrapped it together gives me a sense that, yep, okay, it took her four years to, four, four years, four days to pee a ketone. Uh, when you would get out of it, it sounds like you were pretty quick within a day or so that you could feel yourself back in ketosis. You could make that pink again. Um, the, the other parts are how long, tell me about the, the rate of weight loss. Was it 50 pounds or was it this? Oh, the first eight days I lost a pound a day and I know it's water, but I was so happy. Like, I'll take it. <laughs> it. I know. And it's, it's such an exciting feeling to be like, it's working. Oh my God. And then, um, it, I just felt so much better. And I've always been a sugar addicted person, like sugar, like I've never done a drug in my life, honest to God, but I feel like I know what a drug addict feels like because the sugar was my drug. So, right. um, when somebody says, Oh, I can't do that. I need my carbs. I don't feel good. I'm like, I was controlled by sugar and carbs. I, mm -hmm. There's nobody more controlled than I was, I swear. And when you get that sense of feeling when you've done keto for a couple of months and you are relieved and not controlled by that, it is mm -hmm. such an amazing feeling. Um, um, it is, it is, it is freedom, absolute yeah. freedom. All right. So please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Stay tuned.